hello good viewers you are hello welcome uh, into this tutorial we are going to be solving this uh, problem here so we have this exponential equation 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 then 2 to the power of x equals 4 to, 4 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x so now the value of x must belong to real number set of real numbers so i'm going to rewrite this equation in this form I'm going to be having 2 to the power of 3, 4 to the power of x. Now, the right hand side here, this 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2, right? Then, 2, 3 rather, 2x. Are you following? So now from there, what I'm going to do here, uh, what I'm going to do here now is, I want you to recall from the law of this is that say when you have a to the power of b to the power of c this will be a to the power of b times c right so i'm going to use the same thing here okay so now from there i'm going to have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x equals now these 2 and 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x they are going to multiply so this 2 here is like this b while 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x is this my c here so i'm going to be having 2 then 2 is multiplying 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x are you following so now from there since we are having the same basis so we're going to equate the exponents we're going to have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x equals 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x are you following so now from there so the next thing we are going to do so we are going to see that here we have 4 to the power of x here and then we have 2 to the power of x here but 3 is how we are having the 3 to be the base here we have having 3 to be the base here so therefore what are we going to do if we try to divide both sides by 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x right so you can see that this we actually cancel this one here so we're going to have 3 here for the fact that they are having the same basis we are going to have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x and minus 2 to the power of x equals 2 okay equals 2 yes because this and this have been cancelled so we are left with this so now the next thing we are going to do from here is that we are going to introduce natural log to the both sides of the equation so we have ln okay ln of 3 to the power of 4x minus 2 to the power of x then equals ln of what ln of 2 so now from there so what are we going to do next so now we know that this is power 4 to power x minus 2 to power x is a power so they are coming down here 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x then ln of what ln of 3 equals ln of 2 so now the next thing we are going to do we try to divide through by ln of 3 ln of 3 so you can see that this we cancel this that is ln of 3 we cancel ln of 3 so we are left with 4 to power x minus 2 to the power of x then equals here we have ln of 2 over ln of 3 but we can actually uh, denote this as what as a constant k okay for ec or easier you know working so whenever you see let's say let k be equals ln of 2 ln of 3 so anywhere we see k we replace with that or ln of ln of 2 and ln of 3 we replace with k so we're going to be having k here i got it now so now from there the next thing we are going to do is we are going to rewrite this equation here this can be written as 2 to the power of 2 then to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals what equals k then from there we move on we have we can write if you have a to the power of b then a to the power of c this can be a to the power of c then put the b outside 
right so we we'll use the same thing here two i pick the x inside then this one will go outside minus two to the power of x equals what equals k so now from there we can see that we have something you know common here so therefore let to the power of x equals what equals y so if to the power of x equals y so we're going to have y to the power of 2 minus what y equals what equals k are you getting it so from there you can write this as y to the power of 2 minus y let's send this to this side we have minus k equals what equals 0 are you following so good so now from there the next thing we are going to do is what we have to do now is to solve for the value of i so using quadratic formula so now my a is going to be 1 here b is going to be minus 1 c is going to be minus what minus k right so from there you know the, can you see now the reason why i said we should use minus k because uh ln of 2 ln of 3 so we make this to be cumbersome so that's why we represented the constant to be k to be another constant like this so now here let's put this now to what to quadratic formula so we have y to be equals minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac all over 2a right then we move on we're going to have y equals uh, b minus 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 that's going to be what that's going to be one plus or minus then b squared is minus one that's going to be one squared right minus four times a is one then c is minus k okay then over what over two a so now after that you have what we have we have what we have y to be equals 1 plus or minus so we have 1 minus minus we're going to be plus 4k then over what over 2a that is what that is 2 because a is 1 so now we move on by having these two solution y equals 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 4k then over 2 or 1 minus root for 1 plus 4k all over 2 let's recall that we have what we have the we've already set 2x to be y here because we let 2x to be y we are not looking for y is x we are looking for that's our main variable this y is just an introduction okay so we have this 2 to the power x equals y so now here y can we always be what we always i mean 2 raised to the power x will be greater than 0 here so therefore we cannot have y to be negative so and y is negative here therefore this one will be rejected then we are going to have only y equals 1 plus square root of 1 plus 4k all over what all over 2 understood so now from there what are we going to have so we can see that y recall that y is sorry y equals 2 to the power of x here eh? so this implies that we are going to have 2 to the power of x equals 1 plus square root of 1 plus 4k all over 2 right so now you move on so we're going to have that we introduce ln of ln to the both sides of the equation so we're going to be having ln 1 plus square root of 1 plus 4k then all over what all over 2 right here x will come down here we have x ln of 2 equals ln 1 plus square root of 1 plus 4k over 2 then we divide those by ln of 2 ln of 2 this we cancel this right so therefore finally we have x to be equals ln of 1 plus 1 plus 4k all over 2 then divided by ln of 2 everything here divided by ln of 2 and that's what where k where k don't forget where our k is equals to 
ln of 2 over ln of 3 if you like you can put this back to this equation so that where you see k you replace with what with ln of 2 divided by ln of 3 so that is the end of the class if you find the class very interesting so do not hesitate to share this to your colleagues and if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel consider subscribing now so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content thank you bye bye